October 3rd and I hope you are having a great week this would be the this will be the first day in this weekly blog in my classroom I was not here on Monday yesterday I tested all day we started EQT testing and EQT tests are end of the quarter tests that we assess the kids in reading and math of the skills that were taught for the entire quarter. So we did math on yesterday and we'll do reading again today. So I'm testing in small groups. So we get started about 8.45 and it lasts till about, just depending, yesterday I think I tested until about 10.20. And today will probably take a whole lot longer since today I will be doing reading and I have my high and middle group pretty test pretty quickly, but my low group. Okay, so I am back. And of course, you know, that was the phone. So I had to run to the phone. So I'm not sure exactly what I was saying when the phone rang, but I think I was talking about EQTs. We take a reading and a math. Yesterday we did math. Today we will do, we will do reading. And um, reading takes a lot longer, so we have a window between 8.45 and 11 to complete it, and I think my students should be finishing that time. Then I will have to grade them, of course, and put them in a grade book. But that's what's going on this morning. So when they get here first thing this morning, I think I'm just going to go over some sight words with them and go over some more blending and um, chunking and just to kind of help them with some of the words that they may see on the test. I'm gonna go over my word wall words and just some um, um, L blends, some R blends, um, look for onset and rhymes, those kinds of things. So I'll do that first thing this morning. So they will not do their usual bell ringing when they come in this morning. After testing, I have some makeup tests that I need to give to my students. I have to retest a few students. I had one little student that was out a couple of days and missed a couple of assessments, so I will give them that test. And there's a few reteach, retest assessments that I have to give. I'll do that also. And I don't think they have PE today because we're on, <clears throat> excuse me, because we're on a testing schedule. So that is about it for what's going on here this morning. You see I'm wearing my pink and my breast cancer ribbon in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, I went through my battle with breast cancer last year during this time. So support please, breast cancer awareness. And I will check back in with you hopefully, maybe the end of the day because the kids will be with me all day, so I will not get a chance to check in with you during PE. And my special would have been this morning, so my special for today is canceled. So I'll try and check back in with you at the end of the day, and if not the end of today, tomorrow. So have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, October 4th, and I'm checking in just to let you know what my plans for today are. Um, it's going to be a little unusual. I'm not going to, well, I am. I'm going to have the kids come in and do their bell ringer, but after that, I have to continue reteaching and retesting, or retesting because I've done most of the reteaching, but I'm going to continue retesting some students. I have some holes in my grade book that I need to fill in by giving kids some makeup test. Also, um, I'm going to have quite a few of them take some AR tests. The quarter ends tomorrow. We finished our EQT test. I explained to you that each quarter, at the end of each quarter, our students are assessed on the standards for that particular quarter, a cumulative kind of assessment. So we completed math on Tuesday and reading on yesterday. My overall average looks 
pretty pretty good i'm pretty satisfied with it although i thought reading was a little easy and i know it gets more harder as the year progressed but um overall i think they did pretty well so that's what my day is going to look like i'm not sure if they will have library this morning or not I'm not sure if we're going to shut down we normally shut down for testing so i'm not sure if we're going to shut down today or not i know i have a memo around here with it on there but if they get library it'll be around 8 40 this morning so the, my other plans i have a couple of things on my to-do list i'm trying to get my center things copied for next week next week students are out of school monday is a teacher work day tuesday and wednesday are professional development days for me so i have quite a few days where i can get some things done and kind of catch up i would like to get ahead instead of catch up but um so that's my goal i am gonna add some words to my word wall and put up unit two for my wonders focus wall so I hope you are having a great day. Remember, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If you suspect anything, um, you know, if you could just get a little clue about, mm, maybe I need to go have a breast exam done, go ahead and do it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait till you're 40. If you have a history of breast cancer in your family, I didn't have a history of breast cancer in my family my breast cancer was detected by my annual mammogram so make sure you're getting that annual mammogram done that's my public service announcement but anyway have a great day and i'll try and check in with you later yesterday afternoon i don't think i did too much that i needed to come on and tell you we just finished um, the reading test we were done by 11. after that we went to lunch the kids did some math we did some missing add-ins so i need to go over that with them today after that what do we do i tried to grade some of the reading eqt test and that was pretty much it and what else did they they do talk for the rest of the day but anyway I'm having a great week and I hope you are as well. Although I have a little headache today. I don't know if my pressure is up or not. I took my medicine this morning. I'm feeling a little some kind of way. Um, and I had a little tear in this eye. So I'm kind of feeling a little emotional. I'm not sure if it's my breast cancer story, my breast cancer awareness. Because this is breast cancer awareness month or whatever, I, I do know I'm feeling some kind of way. But anyway, I'm blessed just to be here and I thank God for his healing powers and for healing me all right so i guess that's it for now and i'll check back in with you later bye bye good afternoon youtube today is friday october 5th tgif i hope you're having an amazing friday i'm very busy here some of the things that i have been doing this morning they came in they did their bell ringer then we finished our writing. They were writing about an activity that they do with a friend. So we've been finishing up that. I had to give another science assessment. It was about animal habitats. And they finished that. They did some computer games. Took some AR tests. What else did they do today? I think that's about it so far. So I am grading papers putting grades in the computer i am giving some retest assessments i have been listening to students read it has been a busy day but i came on to kind of end this vlog for this week i've had a great week and i hope you have as well and i look forward to seeing you on next week Bye-bye. I want you to see my breast cancer shirt. <laughs> so that's my shirt for today. So I've been wearing breast cancer pink or buttons or pins or something all month. Although today is just the fifth, but I just wanted you to see what I had on today. Don't forget 
my breast cancer tip for today is to just make sure that you're doing your breast self exams and if you feel anything suspicious make sure you check in with your doctor about that let your doctor know immediately and um, just make sure you're taking good care of yourself listen to your body and one other thing I had to say was hmm, can't remember my breast cancer tip um, oh next week so next week is gonna look really different so Monday we have a teacher work day we will finish up our grades put grades in the computer get report cards ready Tuesday and Wednesday are professional development days I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, capture any of that information but I will let you know what's going on so what I may do is try and do a vlog of my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, my teacher work day and the two professional development days and then I will try and vlog what we're doing in the classroom on Thursday and Friday. So have a great weekend. I just jumped back on to tell you that and um, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>